good morning everybody don't mind me looking like a poodle whilst my curls set i'm gonna be honest i'm not okay today it is half past 10 now on a friday i have already cried <laughs> i've already cried uh and i'm scared to put makeup on because if i because i'm just scared i might cry off but gonna have a nice day today i've scrapped my original vlog plan and we're just gonna do like a big old unboxing of because i have so i have so much post you guys i have so much post i have so many things that i've bought over the last month that still have not been unboxed so we're gonna do a little bit of that today and just have a really nice time we're just gonna ignore everything and be really uh materialistic and put makeup on and do hair because when i am sad and really struggling that is what makes me happy like when i do these ghd waves like nothing is a better pick me up than these waves so i'm just gonna look like a poodle for a bit whilst we wait for those to turn into something magical and we're gonna do a little speedy montage because otherwise you know me i could talk about beauty all day i'm gonna do an updated like makeup routine soon going on in my office slash the post room today and it doesn't stop there look look behind yeah okay this is i need to spend more time at home we've got a lot of far-fetched boxes there this video is going to contain a paid for integrated avatar with farfetch because as you know i love them and i also get the absolute joy of working with them and let me tell you i cannot wait to bust these open because we've had so much work here going on this month and so many trips i literally haven't been here so it has resulted in this absolute monstrosity but i'm excited to crack these open today and there's also some bits that i need for my next trip which i'm so looking forward to and i will of course be taking you along with me so excited to get them opened and to be able to actually like enter my office at some point because i nearly topple these over literally every time i try and come in here also if you're a podcast listener you'll know the pile has started again. I don't even think that's all of it. I think there's a separate pile somewhere else, but yeah, that's a pile of unopened post. This is my life. Little outfit of the day. Lots of you will have seen this one before. I have basically just reworn. I feel like the same five looks over and over so far this autumn, but I'm actually not mad about it. It makes getting dressed very easy in the morning, especially because I don't have access to my wardrobe right now, which I can't even talk about. I will talk to you about that in an upcoming vlog. Things are literally such a mess right now, but I've got a white cropped shirt on. I cannot remember where this is from, but I will try and find out, link some similar things, all of that good stuff. And then I've got my Urban Outfitters trousers, which are low-waisted and I just absolutely love them. I don't remember where this bra is from, but I love wearing it under this because it just kind of covers a little bit more but also um i really like the whole layered look and side note if you want to recreate this look but you don't want the low-waisted trousers urban outfitters do a high-waisted version as well which i was contemplating wearing today i just love wearing these low-waisted ones they're very very comfy and then i've got my uggs on the bottom which are for nothing other than warmth these are life right now in my house i don't have any like underfloor heating or anything fancy like that so ultra mini uggs very much needed these flowers here and try and make me feel like I actually have my shit together a little bit. 
nice oh yeah there's some vlogs and things so we're gonna get started with my farfetch items as you guys will know i am the biggest farfetch fan previously to working with them i literally would buy from them all the time they are my favorite go-to place for like high-end luxury pieces mid-range stuff as well like they stock loads of reformation which is a brand that i love they stock marge or marge i'm never sure how you say it i think there's a bit of sandro nina bing like so many brands that i absolutely love and then they have their luxury goods as well they also do like the best selection of nike trainers so they're like stadium goods section it's so good you can get so many pairs of trainers like as you know big trainer fan and um, there's so many pieces that you can get there that you can't get anywhere else because they utilize boutiques around the world and they utilize their stock it's such a great system so i have had so many pairs of trainers that you just can't get elsewhere from them you can also get the ultra mini uggs on there as well um and the other uggs that have that cute like patterning around the ankle bit i don't really know what you call that the whole of the oh I don't, I don't even know honestly the ones that have the cute patterning they have those coming in and out of stock at the moment as well which i'm trying to get my hands on a pair because i really like them very unnecessary because i do have these and i love these and they're in good condition but i really think the other ones are so cute as well so they're great for those trickier to find pieces but they also just have the most fun stock and that is the thing that i love about farfetch the most and their loyalty system is like elite tier as well which i hugely benefit from and i love the fact that they have that they do a birthday discount which i actually used on an item in this haul which i'll show you in a second as well yeah i love them so much and i'm so happy to be partnering with them again on this video they let me pick out a few things but also i went way overboard and i spent a lot of my own money as well so just full disclaimer there and as always they've given me a discount code to share with you guys so i will pop that on the screen here there are a few t's and c's which i'll put in the info box but yeah i know you guys love using that so happy shopping so i'm gonna start with a top that i bought from reformation it is so nice i cannot wait to try it on it's like a how do i even show you this it's like a halter style top so it like crisscrosses and then it's like cow neck I think it's gonna be so cool i really hope it fits me well it's a really gorgeous like silky material very excited to try this on i think this will be a real staple for me over like the kind of festive party season oh did i just say that that feels so early to be saying that i haven't even had halloween yet and i just said the word festive it's not only a good one for party season but also just like if you're going for like a nice dinner i think it's such a beautiful piece to have in your wardrobe i ordered this shirt from Jackanose and I have been eyeing this up for a little while now and I finally took the plunge so it's like a wrap style shirt it could be quite low cut but I think I just kind of maybe wear a pretty bra underneath it so that I don't have any like loose boob situation you know um but it is so gorgeous the material feels so nice it feels almost like linen-y but it's not which is really lovely I hope it steams well um and it is in a size 36 it's quite oversized so it's going to be quite loose and slouchy and i think this would look gorgeous with just like a pair of blue jeans you could also really dress it up for the evening and wear like a pair of faux leather trousers or a wide leg pair of black trousers i just think this would be so gorgeous and a real classic to have in your wardrobe this next item feels a little bit premature i'm not gonna lie definitely more wintry but i think it's one to keep your eye out for these things sell out quite early but how gorgeous is this scarf it's like a navy jacquemus scarf and you guys know i love like slogan winter accessories i have my balenciaga hat which by the way has been restocked i'll show you a picture of the hat here it's been restocked so you can use my discount on this if you want to grab this this year and you didn't get the chance to last year i love that hat so much so yeah loves and slogan bits for the winter and i thought this would be a really lovely one to wear with like black coat and it not only adds like an extra layer but it kind of adds a little bit more dimension and interest to an outfit and it, this feels unreal like so 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 soft i always get so excited for hat and scarf season it just it makes the winter slightly more tolerable that is absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to actually get wearing that i think it'll look really gorgeous with like a light gray or a white coat oh my god i almost forgot to show you this because it's been in my suitcase this arrived before everything else so i've already opened it and worn it but it's this gorgeous t-shirt from Anina Bing it's so fun and because I've had a lot of trips to Paris I thought it'd be a really fun one so I picked this up and so many of you on Instagram loved it so I thought I'd quickly share this one with you as well even though it's not part of the unboxing because I've already been wearing it but I know so many of you loved it so I thought I would let you know where it's from in case you saw 
and wondered but you didn't see me link it i love anina bing t-shirts so much like the quality of them is really great and i wear them so so much so i'm very happy with that one next are you ready i picked up a pair of boots for a trip that i have next week which i am so excited about this month i have been absolutely blessed with some incredible trips and this one is like the cherry on top of a really delicious cake and i could not be more excited so i treated myself to a new pair of shoes and these are like autumn boots of dreams like they are honestly so stunning i'm so excited to them. How stunning are these? I really hope they look good on me. They do have a wider ankle, which is something that I'm not always 100% sure on. Because of my figure, I like to have like more of a streamlined ankle, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm so, I just think they're so beautiful. They are just insane. And I feel like they make like a really fun boot that you could wear like in terms of evening wear, but you could also wear them like in the day if you wanted to just like really like finish a look. Jimmy Choo Choo's are just, I got them in a size 38 and oh, they're just gorgeous. Look at the bottom. Like obviously this is not a reason to buy a shoe because they literally get battered when you walk along the floor, but look at the bottom of them and they've even got like the little JC there. That's just so cool. You're so small. So those are my lovely bits that I got from Farfetch so far this month. There is something else that's arriving later. I'll put a little photo of it on screen and i'll include it in my little trying on segment um but yeah i picked up this dress i just love it i've been eyeballing it for a little while now and decided to pick it up it's been a while since i bought a self-portrait dress and i thought this one would be really gorgeous for the christmas season and hopefully it fits as well because i actually all of my self-portrait dresses i need to have them altered a lot of them are in a size 10 i'm gonna have to have them altered because they are just like those pieces that you keep in your wardrobe for years and years and years i think i bought my my first self-portrait dress in like 2016 and I still love it so much and absolutely would not hesitate to wear it but what I actually don't have is a black self-portrait dress I have the like azalea dresses in orange uh, in mini and then the burgundy and the pink in the midi dresses for more like uh, like formal occasions where I don't want to be like wearing something as playful or as short but I don't have the dress similar to those in a black and this one just looked perfect so i've ordered that it's arriving today and i'm very excited about it so you can use my discount code on that as well next up we're going to open some bits from beauty pie which i'm so excited to have been sent i've seen people talking about beauty pie for years now and i've always been so intrigued and they very kindly sent me a little package i have no idea what's in this so this is the biologic collagen peptide cream so i think the thing with beauty pie is they're like luxury beauty products but with without the big kind of like fancy brand name or the fancy packaging and over the years i've basically heard that they have some amazing dupes for really lovely high-end products so yeah this one looks really good it's got niacinamide in it so already got a green light from me because my skin loves niacinamide it really helps to like decongest it thank you very much beauty pie i'm excited to try this i need to i need to smell it i need to know does it smell good does anyone else do this doesn't really smell like much. So if you don't like things that have a heavy scent, this one's all good. And then, so I am now on month three of my skin and me journey. I will try and insert a little kind of, what what do we want to call it? It's not a before and after. I'll show you what my skin journey with skin and me has been like so far. I honestly can't rave about it enough. They are not asking me to say this. I was literally contracted to do one set of stories just to like share about the brand and I have not stopped raving about it. Like I told all my friends, I was literally showing Vic the before and afters the other day and she was like, and this is the after for one month. And I was like, yeah, it is so good. Like it has just been the most beneficial thing I've ever done for my skin. I've even eaten dairy, guys, which is normally a no for the skin. I have eaten dairy and it's still like so clear. I'm not gonna go back to like fully eating dairy because it actually makes me feel <laughs> incredibly unwell it's just lovely knowing that you know my skin isn't as reactive to everything anymore and i don't know how they've done that i don't understand but it's incredible but yeah this is month three i love the applicator as well and it also has been 
a godsend whilst I've been traveling so much because this all this is all I need for my nighttime routine apart from my cleanser and if I want to I can bring a moisturizer but my skin doesn't always need moisturizer with it honestly I literally have this and it just fits it fits in all of the like little stupid plastic bags for the airport I know they're there for a reason they're not actually stupid but it's annoying when you have a full skincare routine that you're trying to like tetris your way around you know yeah amazing for travel amazing for like when you're going away overnight you need so so much less i used to have like a full like four step skincare routine and now i literally just have like two steps honestly could not rave about it enough and the results on my skin like i know i'm obviously wearing a full face of makeup but i have not had a spot since i started or maybe like in the first like couple of days of using this but it was like obviously hadn't really kicked in at that point my skin has just cleared and the scarring is like what scarring like there, there's still a little bit but it's honestly clearing up so incredibly i've never had a product actually lift scarring like this and it's slow it's not like you know sometimes you use a product and overnight you're like oh it's great but then over time it's so intense that it irritates your skin this is just like slow and steady and like chipping away at it but also i'm just not getting repeat spots that are then you know spot like i was getting like spots on top of scarring on top of spots on top of scarring and it's just relentless and i wasn't able to ever actually heal and like tackle my scarring now now i am um so i'm gonna stop talking about this but i could not recommend it enough if my code for it still works you can get your first month for three pound fifty which is just incredible i think after that it's like 30 pound a month which and for full disclosure they gave me the first three months free that is literally the hardest thing to say um so after this i will absolutely be paying i would pay more than actually let's not tell them that but i would pay more than 30 pounds for this because the results on my skin have been incredible and it's definitely more affordable than repurchasing all of the skincare products that i was using like the allies of skin product that i was using it really was so great and it helped me so much but it was like a hundred pounds hundred pounds so in terms of this being 30 pounds a month but it's actually like once i need to like step things up a little they naturally like increase it for you and you can like talk to them and tell them if you think it needs like changing or something's not working for you and you can really like tailor it to your skin i would rather pay the 30 pounds a month than the like 100 pounds every two months or however often i was like paying for the allies of skin thing because that's one product alone and then there were like all of the other products that i was also using so this is actually working out better for me in terms of my skincare routine as a whole so very very happy with this i'm gonna stop talking about it now but honestly big big fan my skin has not been this good since i was like in my early 20s anyway let's move on because i've just i feel like i've just talked about that for 11 minutes and that's that's a lot go i have a couple of bits from zara first up we have the little dress of dreams which sadly i couldn't get in an extra small and i'm not sure on the fit of this but we will see it's this gorgeous little like pinstripe you know i love pinstripe as you could probably tell from my outfit today um it's a little pinstripe dress with these cute like buttons down the middle like fake little pockets and it's just like strapless it's so cute i'm a bit worried because i seem to be like solidly fitting an extra small at the moment and it wasn't available in that size so let's pray it runs small and then i also picked up this jacket I managed to get this in an extra small and this is basically the zara version of the um mango like blazer coat with the quite extreme like shoulder pads that i tried on in my autumn coat haul which if you haven't seen i will link it i go through new coats but i also talk through my favorite old coats um that have been restocked and why i love them all of that so and you can see like how long they've had them for how long they've held up so it's a nice like mixture of like what is new in case you actually need a new coat but what i also recommend like over years but the mango one just was a bit too long on me and i was really sad about that so i saw that zara did a really similar one but it looks a bit shorter so we're gonna give that a go um because i was kind of hoping the other one was more like a pea coat whereas it was a bit too if it was a pea coat it was a bit too long it was more like a blazer coat but this one looks a bit shorter so we're gonna give that a little try on I think that style of coat is really nice for like a night out um if you're wearing like a little mini dress and a pair of heels it's just like the perfect little throw on coat and it's not like too long or anything like that and too bulky and then finally <laughs> 
I had to order a bigger case because I am going to need a lot of stuff for my next trip and I don't think the medium case I have is going to cut it. So, here we go. Okay, fabby. This is absolutely enormous. Woo! Love these cases. These are the best cases. Is this not the most satisfying? Thing. Oh, I have one last thing. I have one last thing. I have one last thing. They're back. I have ordered a lot of these as gifts for people. <sighs> the Zara Salted Caramel Diffusers are back for another year. I'm so excited. I literally buy enough of these every Christmas to send my home for the entire year. And let me tell you, once this house no longer stinks of paint anymore, I will be cracking one of these open. I'm so waiting for that day. I'm sick of being in this house and getting a headache every time I set foot in here. And it's not gonna stop for like a couple of weeks. So still have a little while to go. But once this period of my life is over, my house is gonna smell so good. They also do these in so many different sizes this year. So this year they do it in a five hundred. And when I say they, this is the Zara Home sort of caramel. I can't remember if I said. Zara Home Salty Caramel Diffuser. They do it in a candle, which I have purchased. They do it in a hand wash, also purchased, which I'll be cracking out at Christmas. And they do it in room spray. What else? Uh, do you know what I need? Car, if, if anyone from Zara is watching, because sometimes I say things and then weirdly they happen. If anyone from Zara is watching, car air freshener, would love. I'd, lo I'd want a lifetime supply if they did a car air freshener. Look at the size of this. So this, they haven't done this, sorry. <laughs> they haven't done this uh, in previous years as far as I'm aware. I have the 250 mil and maybe the 50 mil from previous years. This is so big. Yeah, I wanted to do a little PSA to let you know they are back because I literally, as soon as it hits October, I start refreshing uh, the Zara Home website to see if they're bringing them back. Every year I get the fear that they're not going to bring them back. Why am I doing this repeatedly? Do I think I am a wizard? Honestly, I need to put them down. Yeah, that is everything I think that arrived whilst I was away. I hope I haven't missed a box or anything like that. Probably have. It's honestly, it's this is staying here. But yeah, need to tidy all this up now. And yeah, feeling very grateful that I can get in my office without tripping over. Okay, this top is so nice. You could wear it more open, but you can also, I checked on the website and they tuck it. So it sits a little bit more like this, which I really like as well. Just makes it a little bit more recovering. And I really like that. I just love the way the fabric like sits and flows. I think it's so pretty. And it's got this little tie detail, which you don't actually have to tie it just like, is already there and you just fasten the buttons in, which I just love. And they styled it on the website with a light blue jean and I really liked that. So that is what I've also gone for. And I thought it would look great with my little Balenciaga bag, which I think has to be like my purchase of the year. And that is a bold claim, but this has definitely been my bag of the year. Like there is not a day that's gone by since I bought this that I haven't used it. I absolutely love it. So if you want to pick that up, you can use my code on that as well. Love this look. This this top is a winner. I think it's so gorgeous. Excuse me. My dog is having a moment. Nala, there's a difference between her postman bark and her there's someone on the street bark. No, oh, yeah, I know. The neighbors have got someone visiting. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, I think it's really cool. I also really like it with like all the chunky jewelry. These, by the way, I get so many questions on these. These are a pair of gold earrings from ASOS, which are sadly out of stock. However, there's a dupe for them on Farfetch if you do want to pick them up because these ones have been out of stock for a long time now. I don't know if they're restocking ever, but Farfetch do have a version of them and I'm pretty sure my code works on them but anyway i like the simplicity of this but it's also not boring it's just such a lovely little combo really happy with it this shirt is just going to be one of those shirts that i have on on repeat i think it's such a cool take on a white shirt well this is stunning i love this so this is the top from reformation which i'm actually wearing with my reformation little kind of like boot cut trousers they actually have like the little tie up bit here, but it actually fits perfectly over the top of that silver detail so that it covers it, which I love because I think this top was just made to be paired with a lot of gold jewelry. I also think this top would look amazing with like maybe a pair of black 
skinnier trousers than with the Jimmy Choo boots as well. I think that would be incredible. But for now, like I said, I've just paired it with the Reformation trousers and then some black pointed toe heel boots. Anyway, back to the top. It is great. I got it in a size small. I think it fits perfectly, you know, it's not too tight, but not too loose on the back. I love the way it falls. Go away, that's annoying. I love the way it falls. It's not too revealing at all. If anything, I don't think it's made to sit in that way, which I absolutely love because I don't have fashion boobs. I find it quite hard to navigate. So I love this top because it just has that kind of like halter neck kind of like sexy vibe but without having anything too revealing on the front. It's just a really lovely classic big big fan of this one. Definitely one of my go-to brands on Farfetch. I absolutely love them. Trying on the boots. Wow. Oh my god they don't fit like I thought they would. Like they're actually a lot more streamlined on the leg which I love. I thought they were going to be like way thicker you know that kind of like really noughties trend that's around at the moment where the boots are just like super thick i thought they were going to be a bit more like that but actually i think they're perfect oh my god <gasps> they're so cool and they're not too high either i think they're just like real goldilocks vibes here guys but i think they're just right i was not expecting this i can't believe how well they fit these are stunning Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Yes, so, so happy with this. And they look amazing with this top as well. And that is so good because I have an informal dinner in my schedule for next week. And I think this would be like a really nice outfit to wear. So it's dressy and it's like pulled together, but it's not too over the top. It's just that perfect mix. I am so happy with these. The trousers are an old pair of like, trouser leggings i think they're from zara and they just pair so perfectly with the reformation top oh yes smashed it okay so for those of you who haven't seen it this is the anina bing paris t-shirt such a lovely oversized like soft slouchy casual tee i love how long the arms are on it it just oh, it's just so comfortable to wear it's like my go-to like travel t-shirt at the moment i just throw it on with a pair of jeans or like leggings and it's just perfect. In terms of the shape, it's actually shorter than my other t-shirt from Anina Bing, which you will know I wear all the time. Literally, I'm obsessed with it. This one's a little bit shorter, so I would say this one is better for if you wanna like tuck it into jeans and not have too much excess material, or if you just wanna wear it with like a pair of leggings like this, I think it's a slightly better length on me anyway, or if you have a shorter body, it's a better length. If you are taller than the other t-shirt, which I will link, so that's better if you're taller and looking for a nice t-shirt because they do naturally just run a bit longer. I think I got it in a size small, but I will confirm in the info box. But yeah, just absolutely love it. It's just like the perfect slouchy casual t-shirt really, isn't it? So yeah, and it looks cool with just like a pair of leggings and boots. Oh, I just love a scarf. I just love a scarf and this one is so cool some people don't like black and blue i personally don't care it also comes in bright pink as well which i love i just am a little bit obsessed with it but um i just kind of felt like i might not get the most wear out of it so i went for a more neutral color but i have a few friends i think would love the pink scarf as a gift like it's so so cool i also feel like ryan will end up maybe pinching this one off of me um it's a great his and hers sharing one i think i'm very cozy right now this is great can we also just take a moment for like hair tucked into scarf season is the best that is like the highlight of winter i love my hair being tucked into a scarf with a nice like slouchy coat over the top oh my god you guys i think the dress of my dreams just walked through the door look at this how stunning is this dress even now let's come to have a look what do you think do you like it how stunning is this? The only thing I would say is if I decide to keep it, I might have the like lining underneath made into a body instead, just like kind of trimmed in, just because I don't know if it hits me at the best angle, but other than that, I absolutely love it. I actually really like the length. It literally just hits the floor like perfectly with my favorite heels on. It's just perfect. I think if it was any shorter, it would almost be a little bit awkward. So I'm glad it actually hits at that point. And this, detailing is just beyond stunning i love it and it actually fits really well over 
the shoulder and hits at a really good point on my chest as well. So the dress of dreams is a winner. Okay, the moment of truth. This is the kite. What do we think? It's like a navy, but it's almost black. Like in some lights, it looks black. I quite like that. It just means it doesn't look too blue, you know? But yeah, what do we think? Is the extra small okay? Do we even like it? I personally love a Pico. I think it's gorgeous. I love the oversized lapels. They are just stunning. And they actually aren't that padded on the shoulder. I thought they were gonna be more padded, but they're not too, they've got like a slight bit of padding, but not too much. Nothing like the Mango one, actually. It's just a very different coat, but ultimately I wanted a pea coat. This one's already kind of working out better, but the shoulder does still look nice and strong. I think anyway. It is like weirdly big on the back though. Like what is that? What's happening here? It's almost like there's a little bit too much material or it's just not made for me having a butt. I don't really know. <laughs> Can you see what I'm seeing? I don't know. What do we think? <clears throat> it does look really good with the scarf though. Guys, I'm so sad. It's too big. Like it's so big you can really see like at the back there's so much excess material that's just like not really holding itself up i could fit another like two of my boobs in there i'm really sad about this just spent about half an hour looking for my trainers which i found but let me show you why i need you to understand why <laughs> i am getting so frustrated because i can't find anything and yes i could just fix all of this if i were actually here and with free time for more than five minutes but also the painting hasn't finished and we just have to keep moving things around in the house so yeah my wardrobe room currently like yeah mine and ryan's clothes can't go in the wardrobe because the wardrobes are drying and they still stink of paint so both mine and ryan's clothes are just everywhere in the wardrobe room and then i come back here to literally unpack and repack bags so my bedroom looks like this and this is also going to cause a problem because painting on the bedroom for the rest of the bedroom is about to start so this all needs to go somewhere this all needs to go somewhere and this is why i cannot find anything because nothing is where it should be and when you don't have a routine and you don't actually technically live anywhere nothing is where it should be nothing has a home it's a bit much. I know it's a real first world problem. I know. But I can't lie. It's um it's just overwhelming. And when you already struggle with severe anxiety and you're easily overwhelmed and lack focus in any way possible in the first place when your life is like this and you have no free time because your schedule is you're very blessed and very busy, chaos descends. So that is where I am at right now. And I've just realised I have about five hours of footage to edit, so less than stressed. We love it. I get on with my day, and I'll see you in a bit. These are very much needed. It's very stormy. Things were kind of like flying about in the night and making loud noises. Me and Nala were very scared. So yeah, a little bit puffy today, but it's fine. It is pure chaos in the house right now. Like it was bad. <laughs> it was bad when I saw you last week. It's now like a hundred times worse. So the painting saga is continuing. So all of the stuff in the bedroom is in like the middle of the room, but I'm also trying to pack. That's interesting. But also our sofa.com delivery of like new bed and things has arrived, which is amazing. So honestly, so, so efficient, so quick. I loved it. But that is now all in the living room along with our old bed, which had to be taken apart because honestly, I don't know why we did it this way around actually now I'm thinking about it, but so we didn't have to do it this weekend <laughs> and someone could maybe hopefully come and get it whilst we we're away. But yeah, so we basically have two beds in the living room, which is interesting. Uh, and all of the stuff in the bedroom is in the middle of the room. So I can't really like do a lot in there. It's 
yeah, just interesting. And so I'm packing in the kitchen. All my stuff is in the kitchen. That's the only room I have. Uh, and then the wardrobe room and office just look insane. So yeah, nothing short of pure chaos. I feel like my eye is like going funny. <laughs> I think I've stuck this too high. So things are interesting right now, but hopefully once I'm back this weekend and can like do stuff, everything is just gonna feel a lot more in order and yeah, but the end is near. We're also, we can't put anything in the studio right now because that is also like in the middle of being refloored. That's gonna be done once I get back as well. So this just, I am on the last leg of one of the craziest months of the past couple of years really. I've not, I've not had this much on going on in a month in a really long time and it has been slightly overwhelming but we're on the last leg last big trip i'm so excited for this one and yeah last leg of kind of like doing stuff to the house until next year which i'm very happy about i'm excited to just have like a brief season of like being chill just enjoying the winter vibes snuggling at home not having my home be really chaotic yeah it's all good but right now i need to get today's video uploaded, get to London, get all packed, all sorted. So I will check in with you in a little bit. I mean, you guys look at this. I have to show you because it's just, it's silly at this point. It's such a lol. I can't live like this much longer. <laughs> I've got my snacks. Always have to take snacks if you're going to France, if you have dietary requirements. Not that they're healthy, but they are all dairy free. I mustn't forget this because I've already lost this this week and I almost had an actual meltdown like this. It was stressful. It's gonna go next to the essential snacks. Yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. Never did I ever think I'd be using a Space NK case for this. We're getting there. Just need to pack a couple of white shirts. I'm gonna wear the Jacobus uh, little tie shirt. And then I've got this one from Zara, which I just love at the moment so much. So those are going in. I also have these boots which are incredible. I also have these gorgeous Jimmy Choo shoes that I'm going to pack as well. You can use my code on these. I'm not sure whether to pack these. What do we think? I just don't know. Maybe as a backup. I do love them so much. Obviously, packing these. <gasps> They're just so stunning. I'm a bit scared Victoria might actually rob these from my bare hands because I sent her a photo of them and she was like, we're almost the same shoe size, right? I'm definitely gonna pack those. Definitely packing these. These are stunning and so comfortable. I tried them on the other day and they are A++. And then I also have this bag. It's so pretty, so pretty. Just need to throw those in and then I think I'm done and I'm just gonna get some makeup on and we're gonna go to London. World's quickest hotel turnaround. I'm off out for dinner. Made it to dinner with my face. They can't get rid of me. They really can't. <laughs> We're at Dishoom. The gunpowder potatoes are literally the best thing ever. What is this? I, I feel like I'm gonna need to, oh, I need to like steal things. And these veggie samosas, life, life. Here we have my favorite dessert. If you ever come to Dishoom, you need to try this. It's the rice pudding. They can make it vegan. Victoria's gonna try some. Are you gonna try some? I'll try it, but you've, you've had the look a lot, so this is gonna be like pretty incredible. It's so good. It's like a blueberry jam coolie thing, compote. That's the word. That's wow. it. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna tuck in first. It gets like blow torched on the top, so it's like crispy. Oh god. Am I focused? Need some jam now. You lost the Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you give out of 10? You're a solid 10. Solid 10. I love it. What do you think of the cold rice pudding? I'd give it a 7. She didn't love it. I could tell by her No, no, I didn't know I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Jammy bits, good. and the jammy bits nice. It's the cocktail. Yeah, Amazing. that is that is a good one. What you should do is make it larger <laughs> and shallower, so you get more of the like topping. Top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very true. That's very true. You can tell I live with the chef. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. I am so ready for bed. It's been a long day. I've got up extra early so that I could wash my hair before the day even started which is not what i normally do um just so i could fit everything into my schedule i've managed that i'm very very happy made it to london checked into the great northern again my fave hotel for staying in before i stay at st pancras this one's very kindly been booked for me but i normally book this all by myself because i just love rolling out the door and rolling into the station when i have to be on a train early. I actually can't remember if I've told you, but you've probably guessed, uh, and you've probably already seen on Instagram by the time this video goes live anyway, but I'm going to Paris with Jimmy Choo tomorrow. I'm literally the most excited I've ever been, but I'm also just, <laughs> I'm so tired. So I wanna get a really good night's sleep so that I'm all bright and shiny and sparkly tomorrow. I'm gonna prep my outfit for the morning, get my makeup bag out, sit in bed, blast a little bit of editing of this vlog, and then get some Z's. But thank you for coming along with me in this vlog and for getting ready for Paris with me. This is literally like my highlight of the year. I'm, I've been so excited for this trip for about a month. Has it been, a, maybe it's been longer than a month. I can't remember, but I've been so excited about this. So yeah finally happening and it's great as well because i've got my besties in the hotel with me which is so nice so victoria and alex are also staying here so it's like one giant sleepover and i love that but yeah that is going to be it from me for this vlog thank you so much for coming along with me getting ready for paris packing with me i hope it wasn't too boring once i'm back we'll do like some beauty vids and some nice like wholesome things together because i know some of you guys are really missing that kind of content at the moment i'm just so busy and i'm just vlogging my life as it comes so we'll get back to doing like the cute wholesome vlogs and like beauty bits and stuff like that once i am home and once i'm done with these trips but i hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me so far this month and i hope you enjoy coming to paris with me because i am going to start that vlog tomorrow i love you all lots and i'll see you guys again bright and early tomorrow morning love you bye